everybody welcome back to just dream guy so you guys know how this goes channel messages first okay so i got two songs that i've been channeling all day okay it's been superstar by um usher he's like i'll be your groovy baby but the craziest part is divine masculine wants to tell you it's like he's like what did he say in that song i don't know i haven't heard the whole song y'all but it's been in my head all day um he says this is the way I see you in my dreams, paparazzi flash. Y'all know I'm not a singer, but yes, Divine Masculine has, man, he thinks the world of you, Divine Feminine, from the inside out. He thinks everything about your, your, your soul is beautiful on top of your, your outward appearance, okay? I'm seeing somebody like that just, you don't have to wear a weave, you don't have to wear makeup, you don't have to wear anything, and you're just stunning beautiful your divine masculine admires you that's the word admiration okay they really really like admire you nobody else compares to you divine feminine nobody okay and then for um for divine feminine for your masculine i keep hearing this song today too uh the song to mia i think you're truly something special just what my dreams are really made of okay I'm talking about the regular version, not the one featuring Fabulous. I like her like regular soundtrack or whatever, whatever, you know, regular record, whatever. But yeah, I love it, okay? I love that energy. You know, I heard that all day, those two songs. So that's how y'all are feeling about each other. I'm loving it because y'all are both, you know, y'all think the world of each other. But y'all have so many fears that are holding this back. Your masculine fears that you're going to find somebody else. He feels like he's not enough for you. He feels like, oh, okay, well, if I just get enough money, if I just, you know, be perfect for her, then she'll never leave because I think she's perfect. And you're like, I think he's perfect, you know? <laughs> it's like, y'all, sit down and talk, okay? Because y'all feel the same way. But, you know, like I say, sit back and let the masculine gain the courage and the knowledge, you know, take the lead because he is the masculine and he wants to provide, protect be the authority figure, you know? So allow them to do that. They need the strength to do that and the courage to do that. Not only to prove to you, but to prove to themselves that they got this, you know? So a lot of masculines are working on their self-esteem. They have a lot of pride and ego, but I'm seeing that it's all kind of disappearing, the pride, the ego. Whatever's holding them back, they're like, okay, you know, I know what I want out of life. And so that's the confidence that they need, not the ego, which is like, I know what I want, but you know they gotta, you know. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to like be a masculine energy. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting. <laughs> but anyways, Divine Feminine is just like, you know, I know you're tired of waiting. I know it's been a while. For a lot of you guys, it's been a while, you know. But the beautiful part is you did the work. You put in the effort, you've been faithful, You've been doing everything that you can. I see that you've opened up your masculine's heart chakra because you've been so compassionate and nurturing. Because they turned their heart off for a while. Divine Masculine's heart has been off, okay? And now it's on and they're like, okay, now their heart is like recalibrating. <laughs> That's good, brother. It's recalibrating and now it's seeing what it wants. You know how it has to like go to the home base first, okay? And that's beautiful. That's what your masculine is wanting is home. All right, like true home. Home is where the heart is. And so the heart chakra is opening up. And for some reason, they forgot who you were because their heart was closed to everybody. They saw you, but they were, you know, for, for a lot of you guys, y'all were treated bad. Y'all were, you know, messed over. Y'all felt like that they picked somebody else, but they picked, they didn't pick themselves. That was the issue there. Okay, you guys? So for all of you guys that feel like that your masculine picked a karmic over you, no, what they did was they went into a situation because they didn't feel good enough for themselves. So they went to a level that was lower than them. And here you are up here, and now they're climbing back to get to your level. Not saying that it's anything bad about that because, you know, we all, we all have our ways. There's no judgment there. But at the same time, you know, that's the situation. And your masculine is getting there. But one thing I must say, because father is like tapping me on my shoulder to say this, you don't have to be ready, ready all the way, 100% ready for father because he's asking you right now to clock in, all right? And that's interesting that he's using those words. 
Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, he's asking you to clock in right now. Because you don't have to be fully ready. He's going to train you. He's going to keep giving you insight. He's going to keep giving you wisdom. He's going to keep helping you. You just have to make the decision to take on the job. A lot of people say, no, I can't take that job. I'm not ready. What kind of craziness is that? You know, in the real world, somebody says, hey, I got a million dollar job. You ready? You don't want to say, oh, no. You know, I don't feel good enough. I'm not ready yet. I don't have enough money to start that. Mm -mm, not yet. Wait a minute. Give me some time. No, father's like, I got a million dollars to give you. And I'm telling you, this legacy money is bigger than that. So, clock in. Both of y'all. And like I keep saying, you know, I know Divine Feminine, you're waiting on your masculine. You're like, wait a minute, but, you know, he's being stubborn. or, You know, you're getting tested too on your faith. You've already clocked in. You're waiting at the desk. You're waiting for the assignment. It's a good way to be, okay? Stay there and be there. Don't go anywhere. Don't leave the job. <laughs> this is what he's saying. That's beautiful, okay, you guys? I'm hearing also rapid shifts. So he's, he's shifting things. It's going to be like you never thought it would be. It's going to be better than you ever thought it would be. Okay, you guys? Y'all have a big mission. And your mission is to help and heal the world in some kind of way. Like I keep saying, nutrition. There's books that's coming out of this. There's um, miracle babies that got these gifts that, you know, we didn't even know how to use yet. Like, I'm just getting into my gifts and things like that. And I started just dream out in 2021, I want to say. So you guys got to understand that... <laughs> y'all are about to raise some kids and stuff those of you that want kids okay those of you that can't have kids and all of that okay Let, let's be clear but these children that you're about to bring up are about to learn their gifts from childhood and that's the craziest part so that's why god is like hey let's let's get this started all right it's time to go so anyways let's get into today i just wanted to tap in okay if you've been seeing the number six three six six three nine because I saw that today and I looked it up. And 639 is the heart chakra hurts. It's the frequency to open up the heart chakra. So if you've been seeing 639 or 936, also 1111 and 111, you know, this is like definitely for you, this reading here. So I just want to help and bless you guys, all right? Y'all know how we do it over here, just trying to help the collective. And um, we're going to go into Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. We're going to separate that today. Um, because on Lionsgate, on the 8th, on Tuesday, we're going to do a whole, like, I'm going to try to keep it short because I feel like everybody's going to get Lionsgate advice and stuff about abundance. Your abundance, I told y'all, is already coming, so just wait on it. It's here. You know, just wait on that ball to drop. We count down at this point. Five, four, three. <laughs> And Father's laughing at me because it's such a great analogy, you know. We're just waiting for the ball to drop, you guys. We're on the countdown at this point. Anyways, that's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Let's get into today's messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As usual, next video. Hi, Divine Masculine. I've been seeing a lot of fear, 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 okay? You are fearing rejection right now. I'm seeing fear of the unknown. Fear because of finances, you need to stop that. That's a lack mindset. Father has everything you need. He feeds the little birds. Go outside, ground yourself. That's the first thing I'm going to say because Father's telling me. You're also fearing that your, your feminine is going to move on. Um, you're fearing that you're not ready, you're not good enough. And you're fearing that you're going to let down your, your divine feminine. Get out of your head. Get out of your head and get into your confidence. Superman it up right now. You need to be Superman. For yourself and for your your legacy, for yourself and for your your um your love, you deserve real love too. Let's get into the situation. Situation is rebuild and control. Yeah, you keep trying to control the rebuild. Father has put a lot of obstacles in your life. Okay, he's put a lot of tests and tower moments, and you're trying to still control the outcome. And he's telling you to let go. He's asking you to go ahead and reach out. You might not be all the way ready yet. He's asking you to go ahead and, you know, start that business, start that job, get that from whatever it is, put yourself out there. You need that confidence to do it. But you keep trying to control the narrative by trying to say, okay, well, I'm not ready or I got bills or, you know, I got responsibilities. And father's like, okay, yeah, I get it. But let me help you build. You want everything to be ready right now. And it's not going to be ready right now. Father is saying that, okay? It's not ready right now. And if you keep waiting, all your fears are going to come true. And I don't mean to invoke fear at all. He's saying that, you know, 
divine feminine can't sit at the table and just wait and just wait and just wait. So you got to make action, okay? I'm seeing uh, solar plexus, that confidence. Solar plexus um, is like right here. And you need to be getting into that kind of music right now. Open up. Look. That's your action. It's to open up. Open up and talk to your feminine. Open up. That is wild that I just like. And I think I'm playing, am I? I'm playing solar chakra, so, solar uh, plexus chakra music right now. So hopefully that helps you guys. Because y'all need the confidence. The confidence is in the air right now. It's Leo season, all right? You need the confidence. What's the outcome? Ooh, too many. Oh, too many of those people, sorry. Let's get the outcome. What's the outcome, Father, for Divine Masculine? Oh. Ah, the answers that you seek will be from outside. I keep telling you, open up your confidence level. Look outside and see how much Father takes care of all the animals. He takes care of the grass. Even I know people do the grass and stuff like that, but he takes care of like the fields that nobody even touches. The grass grows on its own, okay? And he's telling you that he's trying to take care of you. You need to stop trying to control the narrative you're trying to say okay once i have this amount of money or once i have this sort of job or once i do this right it's not about that simply love that's the un that's the hidden energy the underlying theme of this whole reading right here just simply love give love it's not about the material things it's not about being perfect it's not about appearances it's not about that okay let's get an angel prayer real quick and then we'll see what you want to tell your feminine can't make this up, y'all. <laughs> transformation, Archangel Zadkiel. He says, thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform my past challenges. Okay, your past challenges are affecting you right now. And I'm hearing from childhood. So at some point, you didn't have enough money. At some point, you didn't feel good enough. At some point, you didn't feel, you know, like good enough in your face, looks, appearances, things like that you don't feel confident enough in yourself you need to work on your self-esteem you have everything and if you have a divine feminine out there is a reason why she chose you stop questioning it stop questioning it what would you like to tell your divine feminine <laughs> what would you like the lovers shut the front door it says my passion and love for you drives me wild okay and your feminine feels the same way trust and believe okay but just work on like releasing control and open up really open up you have to you can't just say oh you drive me crazy you drive me wild and i have all this passion for you and then do nothing with it because you're you're trying to control your test and father's trying to help you pass okay so remember that you need to let go of control of the rebuild he's helping you build you don't have to get your hands dirty and do all the extra stuff if you make the necessary movements that he's asking you to make, open yourself up and really hear the answers to your problems. You don't have to have them all fixed and solved yet, okay? And don't forget to go outside and seek. But the ultimate thing about this whole thing is to simply love, okay? That's what I have for you, Divine Masculine. Let's go to Divine Feminine. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, as usual. Everybody, welcome back. Okay, so this is for Divine Feminine. Let's see what's going on with you. The first thing that I'm hearing for Divine Feminine, I'm hearing spiritual tiredness. Like, just breathe, okay? Just breathe. I'm feeling that you're just spiritually tired. You're drained right now. But like, catch that second wind. Father has you, so don't even worry about it, okay? You're like, but when, but when, but when? <laughs> Your situation is open up too. That is hilarious, because y'all know I shuffle these cards, and y'all know how I flip these cards. Your situation, Divine Feminine, is open up, okay? You got to be open to this as well. You can't put a time stamp on it. You can't put a, you know, say, I'm tired, I'm done with this. Okay, boom. I feel like a lot of you guys have closed this off, Divine Feminine, because you're, you're over it. Like, you're like, if they come, oh, well, if they don't, oh, well, you're, you're, you're losing. You're, you're, like, tired of running. You're tired of running for it. But like Father is just asking you to breathe. What's the action for Divine Feminine? Yeah, moving on. That's how you feel. You're like, man, I'm over this. I'm telling y'all, that's how you feel. And Father's like, just give it a little bit more time. Now, I understand not to sit around and hold your breath. Don't even, like, go to here. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, it, you know, when it comes to love, 
You have to just love and simply keep your heart open, keep your hand open. If you close it, then you'll never get anything. Somebody wants to give you a million dollars and they give you five cents. That's my little analogy. And you close your hand and go, oh, I got this nickel. And then what happens? They got a whole bunch more give, to give you. So just, you know, moving on, that's how you feel. I feel like Divine Feminine, you're really trying to move on at this point because it's taking so long. But Father is just like telling you just to open up. Just breathe. Relax. I know I've been saying that. I know I've been asking you guys all year to be patient. I know, I know, I know, I know. Father knows too. But like I said, he takes care of the birds. He takes care of the animals. What makes you think he wouldn't take care of you? So let's get an outcome, Divine Feminine. Heart chakra, I love. Shut up. <laughs> Keep your heart open. <laughs> Divine Feminine Father is saying, don't move on just yet. Okay, he's working on Divine Masculine. He's working on him coming forward. Do not move on just yet. But you trying to. Don't get me wrong. I see it. I see it. I see it. That's crazy because the heart says I love. <laughs> Father saying, keep your heart open. I know some of y'all looking at this. Oh, my gosh. My clear audience is kicking in. I know some of y'all probably looking at this or going to look at this and like, girl, like, because <laughs> I'm tired. I know. But Father saying release. Release the need to be right. Release the need to have all the answers right now. Release, you know release because you're trying to put a time on it and father's saying if you just hold on just a little bit longer okay the month of august leo season is supposed to be popping you guys so just trust that okay fathers don't let you know when and if it's time to move on okay basically that's what he's saying don't move on yet keep your heart open so give me an angel card an angel prayer what would you like it says peaceful warrior archangel ariel Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. Because <laughs> you do have to stand your ground. You're tired of fighting. Divine Feminine, you are tired of fighting this. You're tired of fighting, fighting, fighting. Seriously. I can see it. But just hold on. Father saying Leo season. I told y'all Leo through Libra season. Some of you guys aren't going to believe me, but I hope I hope it's some success stories that come out of this. Okay, I've already been hearing about some. When I talk to you guys about the solstice, so you got seven of cups. <laughs> this is what you want to tell your masculine. This is hilarious. I have options, but I only want you. But you gonna let them? You gonna let that man know that you got options for real? Like I can move on if I want to. That's <laughs> that's the way I'm seeing this. This is hilarious. Okay, you guys. I don't mean to laugh. I'm not laughing at you. I'm actually laughing with you guys because, I mean, uh, obviously, like I said, Divine Masculine, he admires you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful from the inside out, you know, and you probably do have options, but you're telling them that you only want them. So hopefully that puts a little kick in their butt, you know, and keep, you know, brings them forward, okay? Because you do only want your masculine, and I understand that. I see that. Um, but as I said, I see that you're tired as well spiritually. You're, you've been fighting this fight for a good long time, okay? But anyways, Divine Feminine, just keep it going. <laughs> I know it's hard to see. The Father is showing you that he sees that you're upset. He sees that you're trying to move on. He sees it, okay? But he's asking you to just hold on a little bit longer because he knows that your true happiness lies with your Divine Feminine. And he wants to give you all your wishes come true, okay? Just a little bit longer, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I have for you guys. Let's go into combined love and see what's going on collectively for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Okay, so this is your combined love. Combined love reading, okay, you guys? Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. You know, kind of get a story, see what's happening right now with both of you guys. I see that Divine Feminine, you're kind of just, you're exhausted. I see it, you know. Um, Divine Masculine, you're just trying to get the nerve. I keep seeing somebody like in the, you know, I keep seeing that. I've been saying that for like the last maybe two readings. Um, somebody like in the locker room like, okay, I got this. I got this. And then walking out and going, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I really got this? Okay, let's go ahead in the mirror. Do you really got this? You know, working on your self-esteem for sure. Working on your finances for sure. There's something going on with the finances with Divine Masculine, okay? Let's see what's happening. What's happening? Okay, so they're like, please give me some more time. Divine Masculine is asking you to give them more time. They're begging you to understand the situation, okay? Because they're like, okay, 
you know i know some of you guys have been waiting since spring divine timing but divine timing is at play here okay so they're like man which is funny because i mean uh, some connections did come in on in the spring some in the summer now here we are um they might be a fire sign or you might be a fire sign or there might be a lot of passion between the two of you guys leo sagittarius or aries i also keep saying and seeing that a lot is happening in leo season okay you guys a ton is happening for divine couples divine timing is coming for a lot of people in leo season but they're hiding right now and keeping notes <laughs> i told you i hate to laugh you guys i'm sorry i'm so sorry it's just kind of the same narrative but i'm, I'm telling y'all before it happens i'm seeing it and then boom they're hiding but they're planning something they're keeping notes all right they're keeping notes but they're not saying anything they're probably watching you on a social media account a fake account or something like that but it's okay you know they're just kind of gaining their confidence at that point but they might actually pop up and surprise you on this one i'm also seeing that as well like somebody knocking at your door or sending you a text out the blue or something like that i'm also i'm, I'm really seeing a pop up like somebody just come on and walk in you know like walk up to your door and hey hey but anyways, fall comes or whatever, between spring and fall, it says it's deserving balance or whatever. But I also see this as, you know, it's coming. It doesn't necessarily have to happen in the fall time, but it is coming. So y'all take, <laughs> I, I can't even, um, you know, tell y'all to just take comfort in that because I know half of y'all are like, nope. <laughs> but y'all are mirrored souls. That's the last card that comes out is mirrored souls, twin flame connections, and there will be a reconnect. So don't even sweat it. Look, bottom of the deck energy is planning. This masculine has been planning this. He's just a little, he, he's working on his confidence. He's working on his finances. He's working on a lot of things. Father says split the deck. He's feeling embarrassed by some of the things that he's done. Okay. Some of the things that he said. Okay. And he's just kind of getting over that and trying to figure out what to say for that or concerning that. Okay. Let's get a couple of kipper decks. Okay. Bottom of the deck energy here is marriage. <laughs> Boom. Already here we go. Distant horizons, okay? I'm gonna leave it there. Back, bottom of the deck energy is pathways. So all of this is leading up to um marriage, you know. Distant this this is just the pathway to a real high level commitment, okay? Distant horizons is like within the next three to six months, three to six days, okay? Distant horizons is very close, alright. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope this information helped and blessed you guys. Um yeah, that's as quick as I can make it without it being so painful because I know I, more than half of y'all are over it, you know. And then Divine Masculine, I keep telling you to speak up. It's Leo season. You should have the, the confidence in the air. You know how prideful Leos are, but they are prideful, you know. So pride might be getting in the way, but just think of the words, you know. Nobody's going to turn you away if you come from a place of love. Start there. That's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for your time next video next message hi divine masculine and divine feminine okay so divine masculine has been dreaming about you they've been getting a lot of signs divine feminine a lot of signs and part of it has been in their sleep okay they also have been getting when they go outside they'll get a lot more signs but a lot of them are kind of like either they're in denial of these signs because of priorities commitments money kids whatever the case may be or, you know, they just kind of like, they feel like they're not ready. They feel like they're not good enough yet. So they're working on it. But Father is giving them all the messages he can. He's sprinkling them in his seat. So let's see. Divine Masculine, what are you dreaming about? What do you need help on? That one came out. Cosmic womb. <laughs> the Divine Feminine. Shut the front door. What? I'm telling you. I don't miss. Thank you, Father. I'm, I saw it in that song. This is the way I see you in my dreams. <laughs> Y'all, he is dreaming about the divine feminine. And he might be dreaming about babies, kids, family life, you know. And again, if you guys don't want kids or don't have babies or anything, he's thinking about a new life. Birth and stuff and fertility don't always mean a baby. Normally they do, you know. But if you don't want kids and your tube's been tired, I mean, I be getting all kind of crazy comments. Come on, y'all. That means a new life. That's all it means at that point. <clears throat> but yeah they've been dreaming about um the divine masculine and i say that respectfully not to be mean or anything i'm just saying before i get the comments or the messages or whatever divine masculine you have somebody 
that is giving you assistance in the other realm. This is the ancestors deck, and your your grandmother, a, a grandfather. This is a grandmother, okay? Your grandmother is giving you assistance and trying to give you this connection and trying to show you that this is your person. Your grandmother is helping you with this, and they're trying to give you innovative ideas to do so, okay? Your grandmother is like, hey, let me, you know, let me show them what they should be saying. Show them what they should be doing to, while you dream of your divine feminine. Divine masculine, pay attention to your dreams. And if you haven't been getting your dreams all the way, um, you know, you wake up and you don't remember your dream. Just know that, you, that that's just another sign to say cosmically and, you know, on the astral planes. You're still getting assistance, whether you remember it or not. You still intuitively, when you wake up, know what you should be doing. So do it. You got a grandma that ain't playing. Your grandma is not playing divine masculine. That's crazy. Because they really want, want this divine feminine. Y'all probably have an ancestral line or something together. Divine feminine, what are you? You have deep, quiet, and meditation, divine feminine. Deep, quiet, meditation, and stillness. You're learning how to be still, is what Father's telling me. Doing all of this, you're learning. Yeah, I mean, I've started meditating more on my spiritual journey. So, yeah, Divine Feminine, you're learning how to not be in such an uproar about everything and everything. Um, let's see what your ancestors have to say about your dreams. I feel like your dreams have been uneventful, uh, Divine Feminine. But they've been, you know, they've been guiding you as well. What clue? Oh, okay. You've been kind of doing some shadow work. You've been deep down in the shadows, okay? Your ancestors, all the darkness and stuff. So you have all this frustration built up inside of you. All this sadness, all this hurt, past pain, and all of that. You might be, you know, basically, your ancestors are trying to help you get rid of that. And that number 11 is just, it keeps screaming out at me. 11, 11, if you've been seeing that a lot. It's time to get rid of those frustrations, okay? It's time for you to meditate more when, you're, when your mind starts to do all those crazy things and tell you, you know, oh, well, like I can just find another. No, you can't. It's, it's not the same. You cannot find another divine masculine. Your person is your person. You see what your divine masculine is dealing with. They got their grandma and their dreams playing with them. So now you have to face your fears, divine feminine, and you face your fears through meditation. And you don't always have to meditate in silence, okay, or stillness. Meditation is, is affirmations. You can say, okay, yeah, I was hurt when such and such happened, but I'm empowered. I feel better. I have everything I need. I'm loved. I still am loved, <laughs> you know. He still loves me, or whatever the case, whatever you have to tell yourself, okay. You're not delusional by doing so. That's just the shadow work you have to do to get those negative thoughts out of your head. If you go to sleep with those negative thoughts, you'll have negative dreams. That's what Father's saying. One for both, Father. That almost hit me in the face. In the hand of the Father. Thank you, God. Thank you. In the hand. So all of this is just basically saying the universe is your partner. Y'all stop tripping. <laughs> That's what Father's saying. You know how I have to say it in my own voice. Stop tripping. Okay, Divine Feminine. Stop going back into negative thoughts. I know it's hard because you're like, I'm still just waiting. But you don't have to just wait. Don't just wait around. I mean, find something else to do with your time. Meditate. Get closer to God. That's what he's asking you to do. Get closer to the source. Because he's working on divine masculine. He's working really hard, too, is what he's telling me. He's working really hard on this. And he's been working on this for a while. Give me an ancestor card for both of us. Hero. Ooh. Hero's journey is what I just heard, too. So your masculine has had to go through hell and high water to get here. And they've sacrificed a lot. And they're going to have to, you know, give up a lot in order to be with you. Change their lifestyle. You've changed your lifestyle, Divine Feminine. They can't imagine themselves not being with the same friends, not doing the same things, not having the same habits. Divine Feminine, you have changed, okay? You might not be all the way there yet, but like I just said, Father don't need you to be all the way there yet. He's asking y'all to come to the table. He's ready to employ y'all, put y'all to work. He has mission work for y'all. So Divine Masculine has been on this hero's journey, and now it's time for him to come home. He's finding the courage to do so, okay? Courage is up there. Just let Father handle it, because he's handling it very well, if you ask me. All these cards say so. And I told y'all, I cannot make this stuff up. 
that's beautiful keep the faith okay both of you guys that's what i have for you let's go to the last video for today okay you guys that's what i have for you today let's go to the last video thank you thank you thank you next video hi divine feminine divine masculine okay y'all this this has been um this has been a reading man a reading for real you know a lot of like very harsh truths so don't judge me on this execution you guys i'm not making fun of anybody i just want to get the message across as as blunt as i can at this point he's not playing time is running out and it's not to pressure anybody Whew, that's just to say father's just saying <laughs> that's not to pressure anybody look look divine masculine this is you this is crazy. divine masculine marriage stability what <laughs> It says this relationship is moving toward a sacred union and this relationship can stand the test of time. So father's like, I'm, I'm getting ready to do it and I need y'all to line up. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry for it to be so blunt, you know, I joke around and I laugh a lot and we, you know, have our fun. But you know, sometimes, especially when it gets to the point where y'all are giving up or the biomasculine, y'all need to do some, some kind of action or you need to do this, or, it doesn't happen like, not as sweet but it's it's genuine still yep divine masculine you've been feeling like this has been a really good friendship for you divine masculine you've been through hell and high water i keep seeing it you know from childhood you've had to be the man even when you weren't ready and you had to take care of a lot of people i keep seeing that and so you finally found and met your friend who didn't require you to give so much to them and so then all this stuff happened you know cosmically of course because a lot of separations happened at the same time y'all know it or not it did okay so cosmically all this stuff started happening and you had to separate in order to grow up father did that to mature you because you weren't allowed to grow up you were allowed to you know take care of the house and you didn't have time to play and then you got stuck in play mode okay you were still taking care of some things, getting stuck in play mode, you know, and then saying, you know, oh, well, and that's just not life. Father's trying to give you a better life. The life that you've always wanted, even as a kid, you wanted this. You wanted a stable home. You didn't come from a stable home. You wanted stable finances. You didn't come from stable finances. So that's what Divine, a divine Masculine, that's what Father is saying. Divine Feminine, you too. Divine Feminine, you are healing old wounds as well. But this is your soulmate, okay? <laughs> You're healing old wounds as well. Y'all both got together for this reason. This friendship is very, very important to both of you guys. So it does feel weird. You know what? You know that saying, and that's interesting because that's where the the separation and the longing and the sadness and the you know stuff comes from. Oh, you look like you lost your best friend. Y'all have lost y'all's best friend, and it's time to get back to your friendship, like your best friendship. Y'all, when y'all get these news of good stuff, you want to call your person. When you get, um, you know, a little bit of money, you want to call your person. Whenever something sad or good or whatever happens, you know, you want to get on the phone with your best friend. And you can't do that right now. And Father's trying to make this happen, but he needs y'all to participate in the reunited, the reunion. Yeah. Divine Feminine, Father, give me Divine Feminine's uh, mood and energy right now. Humor. <laughs> yes, I guess, it is. yes, because when y'all see this, I'm sure y'all will laugh right through it. Because y'all know y'all ready to give up. Find the humor in the situation, okay? Choose to focus on the lighter side of this, the friendship of this. Even when your person comes back and tells you this and tells you that or whatever the case may be, you still have to laugh and enjoy each other as friends. You don't have to be this stoic, like, Mm -hmm. but this happened and that happened you know like whew, let it go even if it happened last week i know that's hard to hear for some of you guys even father's saying even if it happened last week let it go because the point of unconditional love is forgiving remember love is patient love is kind it keeps no record of wrongdoing that's the type of heart you need to have replace that old heart with that clean heart that says oh my gosh just like a little kid you know, my grandmother used to do things as a little kid, and I used to be so mad at her. But at the end of the day, I love, I love my grandma, my nanny. I miss her. Anyways, uh, give me two cards for both. Yes, passion and unavailable right now. Y'all are both passionate about each other, but unavailable. 
emotionally unavailable because y'all are still working through the smallest things though. The last part of this is not the healing part. It's deciding to let go of the past. You've healed. You've grown. You've let, you know, but the only thing you haven't done was let go of the storyline. This person hurt me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I grew up like this. Oh my gosh. But you've healed from it. You're strong. I can see it in like, you know, divine masculine and divine feminine. You're strong. So what are you still like holding on to that baggage for? Stop. Let it go. Y'all are passionate about each other. Okay. Y'all are very, very passionate about each other. Um, and at the bottom of the deck here, I'm seeing patience. Okay. So everything will unfold in the proper timing. And Father's telling you the time is now. Okay? Okay. All right, you guys. Let's get one mood card for the both of you guys. Let's see what y'all are both um, combined thinking. Divine masculine and divine feminine. Oh. Loneliness. 555 five, five, as I say that on the clock. Loneliness. Y'all both miss each other. I keep saying that. So why not come together? <laughs> it's just that easy. It's not about who has the money. It's not about who who did what. It's not about, you know, um, who's going to leave who for whoever. Y'all been waiting this long and y'all still are lonely. But y'all can have anybody that y'all want and y'all still choose each other. So it's not about any of this. Have some more confidence in this love. This love is everything. Father is letting you know and showing you in so many ways. This is everything to the both of you guys. Okay? So anyways, you know. I know some of you guys are in separation with your masculine and you can't send them this message. But hopefully, you know, maybe I'll pop up on a page, a for you page. Or maybe, you know, Father would just keep sending them them dreams. Like that grandmother that's, that's on Divine Masculine right now sending dreams. Okay? They've been dreaming about you. I'm telling you. That's the first thing I said in the channel messages today. So, <laughs> I hope they're paying attention, you know. Um, not only that I hope, I know and I trust Father because he knows what he's doing, okay? You don't have to reach out. Just let Father do what he's doing and the method that he's using, okay? That's what I have for you guys. If any of this blessed you, go to JustDreamGuys.com to book a personal private reading. Um, and then I have my YouTube page, you know, the whole reading is on the YouTube page, you guys. So, go there, like, share, subscribe. The whole video so you don't have to click next and all of that or whatever but um yeah that's what i have for you guys today i was trying to keep it light but uh yeah i can tell that some of you guys are just y'all are over it and y'all aren't <sighs> stubbornness that's the best word yes father both parties are stubborn right now get over it this is your person <laughs> and you know it and you love it <laughs> That's what I have. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Until next time. I probably won't be back on until the uh, Lionsgate portal. And that's going to be quick, like I said, because everybody is going to be doing videos on that. And y'all already know abundance is coming your way. You already know this love is coming. So don't deny. Don't Within now and Tuesday, do not be in denial of anything. And if God gives me, if he gives me some more stuff to say, then I'll be back on. But y'all know. I'm going to let y'all marinate on this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As usual.